Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and today is Sunday, September 11th, 2016. The tarot card for today is the Hanged Man. This one that I'm using today comes from one of my absolute favorite decks ever. It's called Tarot of the 78 Doors, and it's a very unusual deck, and I just love the depictions that they have on it. Now, Let's talk about this, all right? Sometimes when I see cards and I see the day of the week and, you know, whatever's going on, I'm like, all right, let's investigate. Let's see what's happening here, all right? Yesterday, we talked about all of the energies that are taking place, how Jupiter entered Libra on Friday and yesterday, Saturn squared Neptune. Hmm. That may very well apply to this card, don't you think? You know, because... Saturn wants you to look at the truth of things and you know Neptune is kind of like being in a fantasy world so when those two worlds clash and and those planets square what's happening here you know the hangman a lot of times is about you know flipping your whole perspective on things all right and how you see it how you view it looking at it from different angles you see what I'm saying? So there was something yesterday that you were doing. And as I said, it wasn't, I think, as fun as the depiction on the card. All right. So let's think about that. All right. So you're, you're trying to find what is it a better way, how to get it done. Something's happening. Okay. Or because I kind of think that whatever you're working on has reached a, a stalled point of some sort and perhaps needs a fresh perspective <sighs> i'm really hoping it's not the big thing it just it feels like there's something and i know everybody has like my goodness i have a list all right and i don't like having that list because i'm a go forward kind of person but i have a list of things that need to be dealt with so i'm thinking maybe my whole list needs a fresh perspective to get things worked out um but it's that kind of a thing. You know, how, how are you going to do it? How are you going to get it done? And what is the reality of it all? Because Saturn's going to want you to get it right. There, there is no two ways about it. Okay? And a lot of this, all right, hanging is also about sacrifice and letting go of things. And what do you have to give up? And we're approaching that full moon, the penumbral lunar eclipse in Pisces. Something's going on, like something's brewing. I can just feel it. Like for the weekend for these cards, I'm like, hmm. I I'm thinking that even if you were doing nothing all day, your your mind is with these energies and what's happening and what do you need to do to get it done? How do you need to get it done? Going over those details yesterday, trying to get a fresh perspective today. Something's happening, people. The time is drawing very, very close. For something to give in your world and whatever it is well I'm sure you know but it's just there and you just need need to keep plugging away at it see I believe it is the intention of the universe that eventually you do figure out what that proper angle is to approach that problem that issue and that you you know find that you can let it go now, you have to remember, I talk to so many people in a day, and it's all about all different things. People are learning to let go of relationships that need to be done, uh, businesses, properties, objects, jobs, all kinds of relationships, things that have been in their lives for a very long time, and that's it. It's like, all right, you have to figure out how to do this. So this while these cards don't seem that way this feels very intense to me this in between eclipse thing mercury being retrograde jupiter is now in a new house and if you've listened to my jupiter and libra on patreon uh, that was really intense to me for what's coming this coming year and it starts off talking about you dealing with this and then what progresses from there so this is a very important time for you right now. And, uh, you know, I do hope that everyone finds that angle and takes the time to pay attention to the signs that the universe is leaving for you. 
So, I want to thank you all for listening, and I'll see you here again tomorrow, and as always, have a great day.